Hi, Christy McMaster here. I wanted to share with you a model that addresses a problem that so many people have, which is this intense fear of speaking in front of other people. I find that a lot of people who have important knowledge and skills to share, they just, they're not out there sharing it. And the reason they're not is because they've got this fear and they're not confident of speaking in front of other people. Last year in December, I was really fortunate enough to, I guess, go over to Thailand and learn from some of my mentors one-on-one, -on -one. people like Harv Eker, Blair Singer, um, and several others who I have so much respect for. And uh, one of the amazing people that taught me in December was um, this amazing guy called Zoltan. And uh, he was speaking to us about, you know, how to engage with our audience. And he shared a model with us that I think is actually really important to overcome any fear of public speaking. And I'd really love to share it with you today. So here it is. So when we deliver training, there's three places that we can be coming from. The first is this. It's about talking at the audience. It's about, I guess, seeing things from your perspective and having all of the focus on you. And this is where so many people start their training career. And that's okay, you have to start somewhere. But this is where you get the paralyzing fear because your focus is on yourself. It's not on your information. It's not on your audience. It's on yourself. It's what you're feeling. It's, it's acknowledging and giving over to that sense of fear which paralyzes you. The second place that we can come from is this. Presenting to. This is where your focus is on your information, on your data. So if you had a PowerPoint presentation and you were kind of looking up and referring to that. So here, as I said, the, the, the focus is on your data. It's not necessarily on yourself, but it's certainly not on your audience. It's more around the information that you need to provide to them. The third place, and this, if you can master this as a trainer, this is what's really going to set you out um, above everybody else, is this. having a conversation with your audience. Here your focus is on your audience and because it's on your audience and it's not on you, you don't feel that fear. You don't feel a lack of confidence. It's all about them. And in a previous video, I spoke to you about the model of how to launch a career in the training sector without starting at the bottom. And that model was about finding something that you love, finding something that you're good at, and finding something that pays well. And what I've found is that if you can nail that thing that you love and that you're good at, you actually have so much more knowledge and information on that topic than you would even imagine. And when you're able to know in the back of your mind that if anyone asks you a question, you know, you've got the answer there, yet you can focus on the audience and not yourself, it really allows you to enjoy the, the session with your participants. It allows you to engage with them. It allows you to change the direction of the training depending on where your audience needs it to go. When you're in presenting mode, if you've come along with a PowerPoint or something like that, it's really static. You can't change the direction depending on which way your audience wants to go. It's kind of like a one-way um, presentation. And I think a lot of trainers, you know, they might start here. Many get to this area, but few trainers are able to um, train from this area here where they're actually having a conversation with their audience. And so I guess that's one thing that sets our trainers apart from uh, from many others and, and something that we work with all of our participants on so that when you graduate from our program, you have the confidence and the skills to have a conversation with your audience and make your training far more engaging and dynamic and just hit that nail right on the head. So if you have a fear of speaking or you lack confidence when it comes to delivering your message to other people, have a think about, you know, am I focusing on me? Am I focusing on my information or am I focusing on my audience? Because when you're focusing on your audience, you just don't have the time to, to feel that fear. And 
hopefully it'll allow you to bust through and launch a, a really successful career as a trainer. Hopefully this model has been as helpful to you as it was to me when Zoltan shared it with me in December. Have a great day.